Now, if you want to resize uh, an image, you got to use this code here. And let's go into my animation program here. And let's save here. Resize image.py okay we got this image here but uh, let's see that we want to resize all the images that we get into this folder so we need to make uh, instead of just opening one image we want to open all the image and make an iteration of this image in a loop in a for loop in a cycle for loop that will resize all the images and save them with the name uh, with a progressive number maybe so uh, let's go and uh, let's import glob for this so we will do let's get all the images all the list of images list images equal um, e for e so we will get all the images that are in glob.glob asterisk that means every name that ends with PNG so it will get all the PNG in this in this list here now that we get the list of images and if you want to see the result of this I can show it to you with print I forgot the in here that's these are all the images and um, let's go and see if we can make a list of these images that are smaller so um, for e in, in this list of images we want to open e that is the one of this starting from this and so on then we want to resize it to 128 for 128 and then each one of these will be saved as we want to save it like with the same name but we wanna get rid of these four letters here so from the start minus four letters we will just put this name here then we wanna add something at the end this is little okay and little dot png so it will save with a new name and I also want to create a new folder little so there is no folder inside of this so if let's import OS for this If not, little in OS.list there. So if there is no, it will uh, make make there little. So this means that it creates a, a folder called little if it does not doesn't exist a 
Okay, so let's see if this works. At the end, print, print done. And we're going to also open the folder. Let's see what happens. Okay, sorry. Um, I have to put the directory here. And then the name. Okay, done, and it opens my little thing here. Let's see how they are. You see that they are 128 for 128 instead if I go down here in the original one they are 600 etc so this is this is working so now just to test them into the animation let's copy this let's go here into animation 4 let's paste it here Let's change the name to this one and let's call this PNG because now this program here will run these files here that are smaller. There is our little tiny so we have our little Instead, if we, I can just show you the other one, the original sites, let's call this PNG3, and PNG1, let's be back to PNG. Let's run this. There it is. This were the original frame, much bigger. And And instead, this is the other one, PNG3. I just have to change the name here, I think. There it is, our little dude, ready to be used in our game. And So this is our code for the to resize all the images into and I can also go into back here go into PNG3 here resize images let's save it here and make it another different size for example 64 let's see where what happens at 64 if they are still cute 64 and let's check out the result This is the original one. This is the 128. Let me see where I do get. Yeah. 
this is the 100 then. And these are the 64 for 64. Let me cut that. Paste it here. And change the name to PNG4. PNG, let me call it 64 so that I can remember. There it is. Even tiner, but always cute. And maybe I I should even use a smaller one for my game that I wanted you to remember. It is this one. Let me make you see one of the versions. There it is. You see, this is not very cool as image. So I wanted to substitute this with this other one that I showed you right right now. Okay, so this is all for now and for our animation. There it is. Our I think this could be good for that. Oh, I could just pass it to uh, 16 for 16. Don't know what will could happen, but I will uh, try it. Thank you, and see you to the next post.